on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I'm a pivot away from what everybody else is saying. And I know that, you know, it's not the popular thing to say, not the popular thing to say, but you got to set a standard. You got to be a, you, you got to have a rite of passage. And men, men in our, in our environment, in my family, you not, we'd be like, you can't have no girlfriend. What you talking about a girlfriend? You can't even be focused on no girl because you need to be focused on getting yourself together. It ain't about sex. It ain't about a, a woman. It ain't about none of that. It's about you. And then everything else falls into place. So I'm pivoting away from that. I believe that you do need to have a home. I, I believe you do need to have somewhere where you can place a family. And I think that as men, we need to be the providers and protectors as we require a woman to submit to us. And so I got to pivot away from that a little bit. First topic of the night is Does a man have to buy a house to prove he can lead a household? Read that again. Does a man have to buy a house to prove he can lead a household? Start with you, Kay. No. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice. Wow. <clears throat> um, no, I do not think that a man has to Thank buy a house. God. Thank God she's losing her voice. I knew that was <laughs> I knew Jesus was up there somewhere working on my behalf. This is a phenomenal show. Thank you, guys. Let's, let's go. Look, Anton, but I can still talk. So, no, I do not think a man has to buy a house to prove that he can lead a household. No. Why not? Oh, shit. Um, nah. What was that all about? I can't be doing that shit, man. It. Huh? I'm so glad you know, we're not all together. A lot louder this yeah, the end of the show, I man. Lost my voice. <clears throat> um, I don't think so because leading the household is not about whether or not you're in a house. You could be in an apartment. <laughs> you don't even. I mean, what? No, that just that question. No, absolutely not. I don't even know why. I'm not what? talking to you, Jay. I'm talking. I'm not talking to you. Uh. <laughs> really? Does a man have to buy a house to prove he can lead a household? Uh, absolutely not. And, um, you know, when, when I thought, of, yeah, here's the deal. When I thought about this question, we go back to, um, you know, one of the things we talked about on King Talk, we talked about James Evan from Good Town, right? Well, we talked about Cabrini Green. There's nobody in the world that would disagree that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, you mad? Not, not over the internet, though. We gotta protect ourselves over the internet by any means necessary. Oh, that germs joker. going through the internet no, way. No, no, going through the he said he don't want under that gamma. He don't want none of that gamma variant. Man's be in the streets, man. He ain't got time to catch COVID. Um. Nah, man, I don't think a man has to, you know, buy a house. I mean, I think it's more, um, Eddie. I think it's more, it, it, it exhibits more of, you know, how he provides for his family, but, um, you don't have to buy a house. I mean, James Evans was the definitive leader of his house. He was the father and the provider and the protector for his house. And, um, the fact that they lived in the projects and the fact that, um, they weren't in a house and never made it to the house, um, to a house, didn't take anything away from his ability to lead his family, you know. So, uh, no, nah, I don't think a man has to, you know, buy a house um, in order to lead his family. Okay. Amir, does a man have to buy a house to prove he can lead a household? Hey, everyone. I just want to quickly say... Um, that we want to talk about the disaster that just happened. I just want to say we're praying for everyone in Louisiana and the whole South and Maryland, New York, everywhere where this is happening. We're praying for all of you guys. Um, as for the question, um, I think we're conflating two issues here. We're conflating protection and providing. When you're talking about buying a house, that only shows that he's able to provide. That doesn't mean that he's able to lead. Does that make sense? So. Conflating those two issues, it, it doesn't work, but it does show that he's able to provide a nest for a woman to come in. Okay. Lauren, does a man have to buy a house 
to prove that it can lead a household? Um, I said no, not necessarily. Um, because to Kay's point, you can lead a family, you can lead your your spouse from anywhere, a house a mobile home, an apartment, like wherever, right? But to Amira's point, we know that we desire for men to be able to provide and protect. And so if they don't, if they aren't able to purchase a home, it's just very telling as to how much they would be able to provide or, or to what end, right? It's not that they're uh, not a not um, a good provider if they can't purchase a home, Um but I mean, it's, it definitely adds bonus points. Like, you know, you are able to provide over and above um, per, whatever the woman's expectations are, because not everyone wants to own a home, right? Everyone, some people out here just want to rent and that's, that's okay. So to say, to make purchasing a home a marker as to whether or not a man can lead a household, I'm going to stand on no. I don't think it's... Uh necessarily buy a house but you know have a have a place i understand some people like to rent but you know have a place so anton i hope you protect it over there but uh does a man have to buy a house to prove he can lead a household shout out to k um trying to get everybody infected uh also shout out to courtney for infecting k over the last two weeks <laughs> so sh <laughs> this is my new costume for the night it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, not Tondog. Tondog Dog not having it. But um, from as for the question, I'm going to pivot away from everybody. And the reason that I'm going to pivot away from everybody is because I come from an environment or I lean on the people from yesteryear in order to evaluate what my standards are. And my standards largely lie with the fact that there had to be rite of passages before you were able to before you were able to consider yourself a man before you were able to you know be able to have somebody's daughter as your wife before you were able to you know consider yourself to be one of the people that were going to lead your family and your tribe long term there were rites of passages and you had to pass certain tests and you had to be of a certain standard to be considered one of the future leaders of your tribe, let alone somebody that can lead somebody. So if you don't have your own self in order before you start to bring other people into the fold, how does that make sense? And we've largely to an extent, from my perspective, in my opinion, have gotten so far away from what we what we would at some point consider standards. And now we trying to Put the cart before the horse and so what you see now is people being reactive and retroactive versus being proactive and operating by a standard and we just trying to build the ship as we fly and we don't have any kind of standards anymore and so i largely lean on the idea that yeah you do have to have something and you do need to set a standard and it's you know far be it from us to as men have standards by which we are requiring women and largely to us to an extent you see all over the internet people saying that women need to be submissive and what do you bring to the table and all of this other type of stuff so how can we even have that conversation if we don't have a leg to stand on right we expect her to ride or die from up for us and just take a chance and roll the dice and just gamble on our our potential now we don't even have to have nothing we just got to have potential and so you know I just believe, and I've largely always believed that at the very least, you have to prove that you can withstand being able to go through things. People go through stuff. They lose stuff. I've lost stuff, right? I've lost everything. I had to move back into my mom's basement. But prior to that, right, I had already proved that I was able to provide and protect for my family. And that was, you know, a situation that obviously I was able to prove that I can do that again and carry my family off on my back and not only do that, but at some point I got to the point to where I'm taking care of my whole family and everybody works for me and they largely lean on me in order to ensure that the whole tribe is set. So I'm a pivot away from what everybody else is saying. And I know that, you know, it's not the popular thing to say, not the popular thing to say, but you got to set a standard. You got to be at you. You got to have a rite of passage. And men, men in our in our environment, in my family, you not 
We'd be like, you can't have no girlfriend. What you talking about a girlfriend? You can't even be focused on no girl because you need to be focused on getting yourself together. It ain't about sex. It ain't about a, a woman. It ain't about none of that. It's about you. And then everything else falls into place. So I'm pivoting away from that. I believe that you do need to have a home. I, I believe you do need to have somewhere where you can place a family. And I think that as men, we need to be the providers and protectors as we require a woman to submit to us. And so I got to pivot away from that a little bit.